Welcome to the Silver Reports Weekly Wrap-Up, where we take a look at a few of the biggest stories that impacted the financial markets over the past week. On Monday, the Dow dropped 507 points. The markets continued to sell off as investors worried about Wednesday's Fed meeting and the possibility of another rate hike. U.S. home builder sentiment fell to its weakest level in three years. That didn't help the markets either. And Goldman Sachs stock continued to slide after Malaysia filed criminal charges against the company. In a story we touched on a few weeks ago, Goldman Sachs has been accused of being involved in the 1MDB financial scandal. On Tuesday, the Dow closed up 82 points. It was a wild ride for the Dow, moving up over 300 points at one point in the day, then going negative and eventually closing up. In earnings news, Micron Technology beat EPS estimates by two cents, but missed on revenue by $90 million. The stock fell on weaker guidance issued by the company. FedEx beat EPS estimates by nine cents and beat revenue by $50 million. FedEx pointed to slowing global trade, which resulted in the stock selling off. On Wednesday, the Dow closed down 352 points. In news that moved the markets, the Fed raised rates as many expected. That made Wednesday's hike the fourth rate hike of 2018. And on Wednesday, DC filed suit against Facebook over the Cambridge Analytica scandal. The share price plummeted on the news. In earnings news for Wednesday, General Mills beat EPS estimates by four cents but missed revenue by $100 million. Paychecks beat EPS estimates by two cents and their quarterly revenue of $858 million was in line with analyst estimates. And Winnebago beat EPS estimates by seven cents and revenue by $10.6 million. On Thursday, the Dow closed down 464 points. The Fed's decision to raise rates still lingered on Thursday and investors were worried about a possible government shutdown. In earnings news, Nike beat EPS estimates by seven cents and beat revenue estimates by $200 million and Walgreens beat EPS estimates by three cents and revenue of $33.8 billion was in line with analyst estimates. On Friday, the Dow closed down 414 points after starting the day up. Rising interest rates, slowing domestic and global economic growth, and trade tensions continued to spook investors. This has been the Dow's worst week in a decade. Amazon, the second company to hit the $1 trillion valuation mark, has fallen below $700 billion. It's been a rough week for everyone. Overall, the markets were down and we've officially entered bear market territory. In crypto news, Bitcoin continues to trade slightly under $4,000. It was trading at $38.37. Ethereum was trading at $107.49. Litecoin was trading at $30.15. And Ripple was trading at $0.35. Crude oil continues its drop, trading at $45.41 per barrel. And a big winner for the week was Marin Software, M-R-I-N. The stock increased by over 200% this week. A big loser for the week, Adidas Medicine, E-D-I-T, ticker symbol. That stock saw a 35% decline this week. Our quarterly newsletter is available at SevilleReport.com. If you're new to investing and need a place to start or you're an experienced investor who needs a few investment ideas, we suggest you check it out. Thanks again for checking out the Silver Report's weekly wrap-up. This channel is dedicated to anyone who wants to start investing but doesn't know how or where to start. If you have any questions, ask in the comments section, like and subscribe, and may your next investment be your best investment. See you next week.